Hi, everybody, and welcome to the May 2024 Economic and Market Update presented by Commonwealth Financial Network. My name is Brad McMillan, and I'm Commonwealth's Chief Investment Officer. Markets pulled back in April as rising interest rates pressured both stock and bond prices. This marks the first monthly decline for U.S. stocks this year, with markets down in the low single digits. The story was similar for developed markets. However, emerging markets did manage to eke out a small gain. Fixed income markets were also pulled down as the 10-year Treasury yield rose from 4.2% at the start of the month to 4.6% at the end. The rise in rates was due to a combination of both good news, healthy economic growth, and bad news, which was higher than expected inflation. Job growth surged in March and has remained above expectations since the start of the year. Unfortunately, though, the recent inflation reports are also above expectations and have shown continued high levels of both consumer and producer inflation. This combination of faster hiring and still hot inflation has complicated the Federal Reserve's efforts to cut interest rates, but investors have now dialed down their expectations for rate cuts this year. The good news is that now they only expect one or two cuts, which could limit future volatility. But while rising rates pressured markets in April, there are other potential risks as well that we need to watch. Geopolitical tension continues to simmer in the Middle East, which could mean more damage to already fragile supply chains. Oil prices hit their high for the year last month, which will certainly affect both the economy and the markets. We'll also likely see rising political uncertainty here in the U.S. as we approach the November elections. And of course, there are always the risks we don't even see that we do need to keep watching for. But despite all of that, the big picture is still very positive. While higher rates hit stock and bond prices last month, the reason for the rate increase was that the economy was and is still growing. Both businesses and consumers continue to spend more, which is what we need for economic growth. We've also seen a strong start to earnings season with the average earnings growth rate for the S&P 500 beating estimates. This is a good sign for investors, as strong fundamentals and a return to consistent earnings growth should support markets. And that's a good place to be in as we look forward to the summer. That's it for this month's update. Thanks for watching. I'll be back in June with another, but until then, be sure to check my blog, The Independent Market Observer, for more timely comments. Stay safe, stay sane, and stay healthy and have a great spring.